I need everybody to listen up and pay close attention because I'm about to blow your mind with the next information I'm going to give you. We have been focused on the Ovaldi Rob Elementary shooting that happened two days ago. Today is May 26th, shooting happened on May 24th. Because all the news is focused on that, everything else that's happening around us is going under the radar and us as parents, we are the only ones responsible to protect our children. Our government is not doing it, the senators, the governors are not doing it, it's up to us. So in order for us to remain vigilant, in order for us to make sure that we protect our kids and make sure that when we drop our kids at school in the morning, we expect them home at the end of the day, we need to know what's surrounding us and we need to take action now. The next few articles that I'm going to give you the headlines on are going to blow your mind. And I'm going to leave the links to these articles in the description of the video so you can read the entirety for yourselves. And all I'm asking is for you guys to share this video. If this information blows your mind, I need you to share it with your friends and family, with your co-workers, everybody that's around you because we need to let people know that this is not just happening every once in a while. The risk is a daily risk multiple times a day and the risk could be happening in your kid's school next. So let me give you these headlines so you can see for yourself. But I need you to like this video and I need you to comment on it. Not for me, not for my channel. Only so the algorithm picks up the video and spreads it through YouTube. I need people to know I am taking my channel, my YouTube channel, in a different direction because I'm so passionate about keeping my kids alive. And I hope that you do the same. Let's read the first article now. There's six of them that I'm going to read you. And this is for the last two days. This is not things that happened last month, the last year. This happened in the last two days since the school shooting till today. Okay? Those, I want you to focus on that. I'm not talking about anything else that happened in the last two days. And I might be missing some reports because we don't know what's going to come up at the end of the day today. But let me read you what. I have so far and I want you to stay tuned to the very last one because the last one is really gonna blow your mind so the first one right now is it's here in San Antonio okay it's 30 minutes from my home and it says weapon found on NEISD middle school campus after tip from parent no indication of connection with Alvaro shooting this is a completely different case just a kid brought another a gun to school <sighs> number two Student arrested at Clearbrook High School after bringing gun into campus. This also happened on Tuesday, May 24th. Okay, completely separate from the Alvaro shooting. Number three, student caught with firearm outside Texas High School the day after the shooting. This happened yesterday. So even after all the commotion and everything that took place and these kids seeing this on the news, they still decide to take a gun to school the next day. The first one didn't scare them. The first shooting didn't scare them and, and it didn't make them realize something. It just gave them the motivation. And why are school shootings now trending like, like a crazy song on TikTok? Why are school shootings trending now? Why is that the thing to do? Number four. Number four. 13 year old New York student caught with loaded gun at school. 13 years old. He's a middle school student. 13 years old. Number five. Number five. AK-47 student in hit list found destined for another Texas school. This kid had a hit list. He had an AK-47. How does a kid get an AK-47? With a hit list. And the number six. The number six. The one that I need you to let sink into your mind and blow your mind right now. On same day of Alvaldi, Texas shooting, Sacramento parents learn gun was found on a second grader's desk. Gun was found on a second grader's desk. I want that to sink in for just a moment, guys. How serious the situation is. Babies are taking guns to school. How are they having access? Parents, wake up. Parents, wake up. Wake up. Because your kid may be killing my kid one day. Wake up. Love is not showing in the uh, distance from your kids and giving them all their privacy and giving. Love is being involved in their lives and knowing what they're doing. Love, that's love. That's loving your child. It's being involved in their lives and knowing what they're doing because I don't want your child to come kill my child one day. I wouldn't want my child to come kill your child one day. So I'm going to do everything as a parent to do what's best. You're also responsible for this. There's no excuse. 
for you not to know how bad your situation is at home for your child to go and kill everybody that he sees. So wake up. Us as parents, we're the only ones that can protect our children. That we can't rely on our government. We can't rely on the police because by the time they get there, everybody's been slaughtered. It's up to us. Share this video. Share it with as many people as you can. Wake up. Look on Google. Look around you. Look at the schools. Look at, look at what's happening and do your part. Do whatever you need to do at home to make sure your kid's okay. To make sure your kid doesn't have access to guns. Okay, they can go out and buy guns on their own without you even knowing about it. Search their rooms. Be a parent. Be a parent. That's all I'm asking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's protect our kids. Let's keep our kids safe. Let's bring our kids home after school. God bless you guys. Until the next video.